I'll show you how to set up and pair your Huawei Band 10 with an iPhone and also I'll briefly show you how to actually use this watch as well. So first things first, you will actually need to go to your Apple Store and download this app called Huawei Health essentially. So search for this and it's actually available on the Apple Store. Then also let's turn on the watch, so simply press and hold this button for maybe a few seconds. Okay. By the way, this application Huawei Health, uh, if you want to install it on Android phone, is actually not available on the Play Store. You actually have to go on the Huawei official website to download. But again, for iPhones, it's actually available in the, yeah, basically the Apple Store essentially. And then we can select our language over here. Okay, and let's leave it aside and let's open up the app. And this is what the app looks like. We are going to go over here in the devices tab over here and click add device. So the first time you click, it will actually ask you to log in in your Huawei Health uh, account or also create. So again, before this step and see, basically this Huawei band uh, got found. Also, if you uh, do not see it, also obviously make sure you go in settings and make sure your Bluetooth uh, is, able, is enabled on your phone essentially. Then let's click connect. Yep. Okay. And wait a bit. Okay, we are going to need to Accept the pairing request, yep. Accept on both, yep. Allow all notification access. If you do not allow this, you will obviously have uh, problems basically receiving notifications, stuff like that. So you can also choose this if you need. So you see the watch is pretty much ready. So it's that fast essentially. Also, it will probably ask you to download updates if you want to do that. Then also, I highly suggest to go over here in this app and also click on the notifications over here and enable for the apps you actually want to receive notifications for. So essentially, for example, for WhatsApp. So again, if you are not receiving notifications, go over here essentially. And this uh, app over here, you see basically on the front page, you can see your health stats over here and the in device tab you can essentially manage this and also for example you can yeah basically like download more watch face over here by the way when it comes to watch faces i suggest you to scroll like this and go to the free category over here so the like when you open it it will basically offer you like tons of paid ones but again this is like tons of free ones as well so you can simply tap and basically send over to the watch if you need and then let me show you how to use the watch briefly. So all the controls on this watch are done basically by swiping and touching the screen or also using this uh, home button. So this home button essentially, as name suggests, simply goes to home and also can be used as back button as well. Or also we can use it to launch our apps. So you see, we can also launch apps. So these are all the apps we have over here, for example. Then if I swipe down from my watch, you see, I can quickly launch some settings, maybe turn on my flashlight if I want. Also, if I swipe from the uh, left side, again, I can also use it as back gesture, essentially. And if I swipe from the left side on the main screen, I can also launch, for example, my weather app over here. So you see, you can see your weather. Also, you see you have your music controls as well. By the way, this watch actually doesn't get internal storage, but it can simply uh, like control music from your iPhone. Maybe you have, if you have Spotify playing, it can control. So absolutely great. Uh, so again, if I swipe like this, I can also go back essentially or use this button essentially as well. And if I swipe up, I can like see my notifications, for example, like text message notifications, WhatsApp notifications and stuff like that. And if I want to change the watch face, I can simply click and hold on it. So to see, I can basically change to whatever I need. And also if you want to customize, for example, the data fields, again, we can click and hold and you see this uh, like cog basically here. So then we can, for example, like uh, choose different style here, or also you see basically we can uh, like customize these Okay, yeah, so, so I apply this to like go to the next uh, option. So uh, see if I click this, I can also like uh, set all those date fields for anything I want. So absolutely awesome. And if you want to charge your watch, uh, see on the back, you have these two pins over here. And basically uh, see you have this magnetic charger over here with the same two pins essentially. So we literally 
put it like this as see it's magnetic and then we can plug this in any like usb maybe wall adapter like pc or computer whatever or also you can get one of these adapters that converts basically usb to type c or lightning port and then you can basically plug in your iphone for example if i have type c you see basically if i plug in the watch actually even starts to charge so i think this is absolutely awesome that you can actually charge it uh, from a phone as well anyway good luck